Hi, Star fans. Desura and Faith Comforter. How are you doing? My name is Jake, and I'm the producer of the ICR Main. Today, I'm sitting here in my uh, hospital chair that I got out of a dumpster. Um, see, I was over at Pearl Harbor, and the hospital, this is something that the military does sometimes. They waste money. Um, the hospital was having renovation, so they took all their perfectly good hospital chairs, and well, there's about 50 to 100 of them, put them in a dumpster. And I was like, these are really nice chairs. Somebody could really use it and really love this thing. So I got two of these, I have one more, and I put it in my car, and um, thought, all right, I'm gonna put this thing on eBay, and I did. And it sold on, the two chairs together, sold on eBay for $300. <laughs> and, um, but I'm still sitting in them. Um, what happened was, it, they sold for $300 on eBay, but it, they cost about $300 to ship out of Hawaii, so I had to tell the buyer, so I had to give him a refund and say sorry. <laughs> so. I still have these hospital chairs in all of my talks um, to you guys. All my responses will now be done in video. And in order for me to, um, you know, get some value out of my hospital chairs, I'm going to have my talks in them. Um, and also because, I guess, if you are uh, get bit by a zombie, and I guess one of the first places you're going to go is hospital. So I guess it's the right theme. Not really. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you, Faith, for for continuing to follow us, really appreciate it. And um, yes, that's that's kind of the route we're going. We're gonna have a lot of different zombie types. It adds a lot of variety in the game. Um, when you have a simple game like ours, it, you have to be really creative with the, um, with with what you have. Yeah, you you can't just make an entirely new thing because it's expensive. But if you can take something you already have, something that has already has a coding for it, and you can just change it a little way to make it really unique and special. Um, that's the kind of creative creativity that you want. Um, and it's really it's really cost effective. So one way we do that is um, changing just different zombie types and changing parameters around them a little bit. And completely new zombie, completely new um, a new uh, thing to fight in the game. The uh, it are, we just by doing that we've had so much variety already. For instance, um, the little little zombies who have much the same coding as the big ones, except for animation and different. Uh, different like combat parameters and health, whatever. The little zombies, you, you can just mow them down with a submachine gun, but if you got the big fat ones, you have to use a sniper rifle. And we didn't plan on having it turn out that way, but it did just on its own. And so it's really fascinating, just like putting in something new in the game and just attacking it and something completely, you know, that you didn't expect comes out of it. And it's awesome having these unintended positive consequences in it. And so, um, lots of new zombie types. Another thing that we do to, to remain efficient is with characters. A lot of the characters, shh, don't tell anybody because I'm telling everybody. Um, a lot of the characters are actually the same. Um, if you notice, like, like, it's a top-down view game, so we can get a lot of up, we can get a lot of power out of just making one guy. Make one guy, change his clothes, change his hair color, change his shoe colors. We don't have to change the animations. It's very cost-effective, and like from the overhead view where the game is, it looks like a completely different character. So it's really, really good for us. We're able to do that. We're able to make more. Um, use that opportunity cost of opportunity cost is um, basically just taking. It's just an economics thing. Taking um, and considering how long or how much it would cost to make this one thing, and saying, okay, if I didn't do this, I, how much value would have gone out of, the, out of those resources put to this, We're putting it towards something else. Um, so the opportunity cost is just is uh, phenomenal. We're able to make new shit. Um, what else can I tell you guys? This is the first one. I th I'm all inspired by. I'm having a good time uh, talking to you. Um, let's see. All right, that's all. I, that's all I have for you to uh, right now. Um, with as more questions come up, more comments, I'm gonna make more videos, and I'm gonna have a good time talking to you guys and let you guys let you guys know what's going on. Uh, I think my next video is going to be t is talking about Project Zomboid. Project Zomboid, believe it or not, we freaking love those guys. They inspire us. Um, a lot of people ask, like, oh, you know, like, what about the competition? You know, no, there's no competition between us and Project Zomboid. We're completely new, different, we're, we're completely different games. Yes, we have the same zombie theme, different, different type of, um, we're a different type of game. We're a different type of game from Z Project Zomboid. And I don't think we, should, we need to be, we don't need to worry about them. We actually appreciate what they do. We, they're they're great. They put together a great community. Love them. So we're going to continue looking up to them. And I'd like to try to uh, make a relationship with the developers. I'm, trying, I'm actually going to send them, send them an email pretty soon. Alrighty, Desura, thank you for watching. This is my first of many hospital talks, and have a good one.